welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. This is the books that surprised us. So if you haven't been following my channel, first of all, I am doing VEDA and I planned this video out. This is a new series in which I am asking um, some of my best bookish friends to do different topics and things like that uh, each month. And for this month, we're doing surprise zing books. Yes, I just broke that word up into like how many ever syllables, but surprising books, books that surprised us. So I said, hey, give me the book that surprised you the most. It can be good. It can be bad. It doesn't really matter. Just give me a book that surprised you. So here are my friends talking about the books that surprised them. Hey everyone, my name is Tamika. I'm from the channel Library of Tomes and today my book that I'm going to be talking about for my most surprising read is actually The Black Fox by Brianna Hale. So I know that I am constantly talking about Brianna Hale over on my channel and it's no surprise that I love her books. But this one I was really unsure about. The Black Fox follows a guy named Zacharias and his stepdaughter Lolita. <laughs> and their relationship. The reason I was worried about this one was because of the cheating aspect because he is her stepfather. He is married to her mother. So if you know my channel at all, you know that I do not like cheating in my books. It is a no-go for me. It is almost always going to be a situation where I am not going to root for those heroes and that the hero and the heroine or the heroine heroine, however, hero, hero, however the situation is. So I was definitely hesitant, but I did get an arc of it and I did actually really end up loving it. So in this world, all these heroes have had a curse put on them and it's their journey with falling, finding love while also breaking their curses. So I really loved this story. I think the reason I loved this one so much was specifically because Brianna Hill did such a good job of not making the cheating feel like cheating. It was so obvious the entire time that the two characters who had a relationship together, the ones that were married, didn't actually have any romantic feelings or romantic relations at all to each other. So I gave it a pass and I actually really enjoyed it. So. If you are interested, I really do recommend this one. This is the only book with cheating that I could actually recommend. And I do say if you want to pick it up, you should. Hello, friends and enemies. I am Isabel from Happy For Now. And I'm so excited to tell you my most surprising book. My pick for this took a while and I went only, I gave myself last year and this year to look at and that was it. I had to cut myself off. And I decided on Desperate Measures by Katie Roberts. This is a book that for me honestly like has every little bit of book nip that I could ever want. It's a fairy tale retelling, it's villains, it's BDSM, and it is a interesting world happening. But it does have the one thing that honestly makes me not pick a book up and that's the daddy kink. It is just not my thing in any capacity. And I really wasn't sure how I would feel about this, but Desperate Measures follows Jasmine and Jafar, and it is him trying to take over her dad's territory. Um, and it also is like the twist that Alaric, I believe was his name, is the bad guy. And it's kind of, he's pretty bad overall. Um, and it just took a lot of things that I didn't expect to love and made me a huge fan of them. And I and breathe the rest of the series now so i can't wait to dive into it more and really enjoy it i will give a quick content warning for this though there is some dubious consent but yeah that was my biggest surprise i i wish i had more to say about it i think it just really surprised me that i even liked it and that i found it as enjoyable as i did bye Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and my channel name is Always Booked and today I'm here to tell you about my most surprising read. So if you watch my channel you know that I read a wide variety of things. My favorite genres are women's fiction and thrillers but I like to read some YA, some romance that isn't women's fiction, some literary fiction, a little bit of historical but that's not my favorite, a little bit of dystopian, 
little bit of sci-fi, but not much. So anyway, it's hard to surprise me. But this series in particular, really, I enjoyed it so much more than I ever thought I would. So the series I'm talking about is the Did I Mention I Love You by Estelle Mascom series. Now this book is a trilogy. It's three books, Did I Mention I Love You, Did I Mention I Need You, and Did I Mention I Miss You. And so these three books are about a uh, step-sibling relationship. So this girl goes to live with her dad, and she's got a bunch of stepbrothers that she is just meeting as a teenager now. And one of them is just kind of a bad boy, and they have a hate-to-love romance, and it's just so good. And typically I'm not into, um, like, YA kind of taboo romances, but this one was so good. And it's a Wattpad series, and my expectations for it, first some reason we're just so low and so I went in and I was shocked to love it so if you have read this series let me know what you think if you haven't read it I highly suggest picking it up there are three books that are decent size I mean they're these are the three books together so they're they're a few like three or four hundred pages each but it just flies like it goes so quick they're so good it's compulsively readable there are a little bit of problems but there's problems in all YA so I would highly recommend this series if you haven't read it that's it thanks for watching Hey Steph, hey friends, I'm Brie and I make videos over on the channel Brie Hill. And the book that took me most by surprise would be Waterbound by Christine Feehan. Over on my channel, I have talked about this book quite a bit, mostly like early on in 2020 because it was my first five star read of the year. So one of my goals for 2020 is to read outside of my comfort zone, mostly focusing on the subgenres of romance that I don't typically read, which includes paranormal romance, which is crazy that I don't read more paranormal romance, but I'm getting there. So I started my paranormal romance journey with this book and I'm really happy that I did. So I picked this book up. I posted about it on Instagram and my friends on Instagram were like, Brie, you're going to fall in love with this book. You're going to fall in love with this series. And they were right. Picked this one up, loved it, immediately went out and hauled the other five books in the series because I needed to have them readily available. I think what took me most by surprise is me and my friends, we talk about all the time in our group chats about how we want to show more love to romantic suspense, but it's really difficult sometimes to find authors that balance the suspense element and the romance element really well. Obviously as romance readers we're in it for the romance. So there are times, there's a lot of times where the romance element is overshadowed by the suspense element and I just feel like in this series, in particular this book, Christine Feehan did an amazing job of balancing the suspense element with the romance and then add in the fact that it's paranormal as well. I don't know how she did it but she did and I just fell in love. It follows Ricky and Lev. Ricky is a water elemental and Lev controls like animals and they meet out on the water she lives with autism. That's not actually vocalized until later on in the book. But you as a reader, you're reading it and you're picking up on some of her mannerisms. And I was just like, Ricky's autistic. We haven't said it yet, but that's what she is. And then later on, it's validated. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. I loved so much that we had that representation in such a really strong heroine. She, she's become one of my favorite heroines that I've read. I just really loved that. And I really enjoyed the romance between her and Lev. He's very protective of her, but she can hold her own she's very strong and they just balanced each other out really well so yeah this is a book that really took me by surprise it's become kind of the standard for me when I pick up romantic suspense novels and I know that I want to see those things balanced out very well I look back on this book and I know that it can be done and I'm back so I don't actually look at their videos until I put everything together. So I'm not exactly sure which books they uh, gave you guys as surprises. I hope that we're not going to talk about the same one. I don't think so because not very many people have talked about the book that I'm going to tell you guys about that surprised me to no end that I absolutely adored even though it took me through an emotional roller coaster of ride through six books I believe it was is the series um is the number of books in the series but I was on the edge of my seat for the it for the entire time um and it like took me into this rabbit hole of darkness and then when I didn't think it could get any darker it just continued to get darker and darker and darker and even more twisted then some things ended up happening and it all of a sudden became paranormal romance and you know I was just so enamored by this book this is one of the books that 
over my gosh six year six years of reading now of like heavily reading um is a book that I still am just mind boggled by that it took me on such a journey and if it was an audiobook I would so revisit it so many times due to the fact that I only have it in physical form and on ebook it is a little bit harder for me to reread it because of the dark themes that are encapsulated within the first I'd say four books um so rereading is not something that I do very often, uh, but this is a series that I would reread over and over and over again, especially if it was placed into audiobook. The series I'm talking about is the Life of Anna series by Marissa Honeycutt. This book surprised me, like I said, by how dark it was. I have a little, I have a dark heart. I do. I have a dark heart. I may come off super bubbly and fun and, you know, energetic and everything like that, but my dark heart feels those dark taboo themes and so many of them are in this series. It is absolutely crazy. It takes you into a dark, twisted hole of cults and paranormal things, gods and semi-gods and, or demigods and just torture and just craziness absolute craziness but then you get to the end of the series through book five and then you get like this special like little look into a character in book number six and you feel fulfilled you feel like you have just been on a journey of epic proportion and I absolutely love this series through my being just absolutely love it and I wish I could revisit it more um, because sometimes you just need to have a good cry sometimes you just need to have that point of view that someone could be having something done to them that's worse than your life and this book definitely even though it is extremely fiction so fiction completely fiction just put that out there very very fiction very fiction fiction book fiction 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 all made up imaginary imaginary but it crosses that line into taboo that makes you really question your morals and you're like why do i love this so much why does my dark heart love this so much it gives you everything so that is the most surprising series um, I know I asked them for books and they probably gave you a book, <laughs> one book, a standalone book. I'm giving you a series because it's my series of questions that I'm, it's, it's mine. It's my channel. It's my channel. I can do what I want. I'm a little sassy right now because I've been mass recording for VEDA, which is when you guys are seeing this. Um, thank you to all of my collaborators for participating in this, and I can't wait to find out what your books are um, throughout this. I hope you guys are enjoying the collaboration and um, are getting good recommendations, um, things that you that you wouldn't necessarily pick up, um, and you're just not relying on me. That was the whole point to this whole series of getting with my book friends to give you guys, my viewers, a little something different so that if you are looking for maybe not as dark hearted as my little dark heart is, you can find other romance booktubers out there that are giving you something extra as well. Alrighty, I think that's it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it. Tell your friends about it. This is a collab video. Go check out those creators and those content people down in the description box because I will link them down there. I have a feedback form down there. I have a recommendation form down there. I have lots of stuff down in the description box. Go check it out. I'm done rambling. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys in tomorrow's video.